deeper and it's not doesn't make it right i'm not saying that it's right but i'm saying that whether it's right or wrong whether you deserve to be heard or not people are not going to hear you unless you speak up i'm begging you to see that if you were to just let go all of the things that you're terrified of and all of the things that bring you pain and all of the things that have been a tragedy in your life will become something beautiful you let go of that coin and you let god hold on to you and you will become a different person we all hide things in our closet and this channel is about pulling those things out of the dark and facing them. What's up guys, it's Pastor Jordan. Today I'm reacting to Yellow Pain. Uh, I heard a few of his songs and I really like them just because he gets so deep and uh, today I'm going to react to My Vote Don't Count. I watched like the first 30 seconds of this video and then I knew I had to react to it so I stopped but let's start enough electoral votes more than 270 more than enough to become the 44th president of the United States he will be the first African American president uh, of the United States I've been broke all my life but I kept hope all them nights you see business in my city yeah they closed all them twice I was just riding down Salem all them damn potholes I can't drive I know y'all can fix it faster but I know y'all won't try don't nobody care about us and that's why I don't vote Voted for Obama back in 2012 I remember that's when I had hope He was saying yes we can and everybody got less food stamps And when I turned 21 I was still broke I'd never vote again I don't think I ever had a president make my life better Did it all on my own Ain't no politician ever do a nice gesture I don't even know the man's name I ain't never seen her one time ever Tell me how she gonna help the city What I'm supposed to do, write letters? What I'm supposed to do, blame Trump? He ain't never really gave up. Uh, ain't nobody raised minimum wage. None of these jobs pay enough. I think they just wanna keep us broke. Cause they ain't putting nothing in place for us. This how all my people feel. But we gotta learn. We complained enough. Let me change it up. Everything I just said, everybody I know think the same way. See, they don't wanna see us vote. And we never do. So we see the same thing. But all our votes really do count. And they'll never really let it show. So now I'm finna break it down. Cause if I don't, you would probably never know. First thing first. I love how he has like. Like, all the people he's speaking to are different. They're not all black, right? Some people get caught up in this idea that it's, like, all racial. But some of it can be cultural. I didn't I didn't grow up with a lot of things. And I was on food stamps my entire life. And that, that's just how we grew up. That's just how it was. Nobody nobody cares about our side of town. Or nobody cares about our, our neighborhood area. Because it's, it's low income. No, nobody... Nobody pours into that, and he's he's talking, he's saying so many true things. Or we live in a country where the majority is middle to low income. But that's the majority of people who don't vote, and that's the majority of people who, who kind of get left under, like, you know, they kind of get forgotten about. And I think he's touching on something that's important, because if it's true, if people are were trying to screw you over, if people are trying to screw over the middle and low income for their own personal gain, right, high income people, politicians, things like that, if they're trying to screw you over, nobody's going to help you. Nobody is going to be there to, to take care of you, right? You can claim all day long. You can say all day long that somebody did you wrong or somebody's, you know, hurting your culture or somebody's attacking your race, but nobody's going to reparate that unless they're made to, meaning nobody's going to pay that back. Nobody's going to fix it. Nobody's going to right that wrong unless they're made to. So if that's you, if that's how you feel, if this is where you're at, I felt that way, then you have to do something about it. Because you can state this, and I'm not saying he's playing the victim, I think he's doing exactly what everyone should do. You have to make your voice heard, because nobody's going to ask for it. Nobody's going to ask you, what do you think, low income? What do you think in the projects? What do you think in the ghetto? What do you think in low income housing? What do you think, blue collar, hard working? Nobody's gonna ask you. Nobody cares. You have to be willing to make your voice heard. And it, it's through the thing. It's through these things. It's through politics. It's through voting. It's through other things. But it's also through this. It's through art. This has eight hundred and forty-three thousand views. You want somebody to hear you? You have to speak up. Because nobody is gonna care. This is a world that is is completely dominated by this me myself and I mentality. And so if you're not willing to change that, if you're not willing to stand up and say, what about me? 
you're going to get ran over and it's not doesn't make it right. I'm not saying that it's right, but I'm saying that whether it's right or wrong, whether you deserve to be heard or not, people are not going to hear you unless you speak up. So it's time for that culture. It's time for those people. It's time for, for people who have not been heard to stand up and say, we matter. My vote does count. He's exactly right. His, his vote counts. But you have to make it count. You have to be willing to make your voice heard. You know, back in middle school when they taught us It was three branches of the government We forgot it when we got older It's the judicial, the legislative, and executive But all we know is the executive That's the mayor, or the governor, and the president Now none of them three people make no laws They just be checking them The laws come to their desk and all they do is say no or yes to it So when the news station tried to tell us that Barack Obama couldn't put us on We was all Saudi at Obama when it was the Congress members all along We gotta focus on the legislative branch Yeah, they the ones that make the laws Yeah, they the ones right how much food stamp money you get on the car But when people that wanted to help us Wanted the job, I know they probably lost Cause we ain't even know their name We ain't know their face, we ain't know it all yeah. So the Congress or the State House That's legislative, they make laws So what we want from the President is what they do Okay, y'all? Yes, we're all guilty of that None of us pay attention to those things But those are the things that matter, right? If you want to make a difference, you have to be actively involved it goes Congress, State House, and then it goes it goes even smaller. If, if you have to be act actively involved in your community, right? We just watch the news, the national news about what the president's doing, and we hate on him or we love him, but but it goes deeper than that. Politicians go all the way into our backyard. They're all the way into our back pocket. They're all the way into our city and our town, into our neighborhoods. And if you're not aware of that, then they're going to do whatever they want. Because that's exactly what he's saying. He's saying they, they don't care about us. They don't care if we're hurting. They just want us to stay broke because they're going to stay rich. Then you have to be aware of it. You have to know where it's starting, where it's coming from, so that you can protect your own. They election every two years, but we don't ever even go to those. The Congress, they can raise minimum wage, but we ain't even really know it, though. So you know how back in 08, when we all voted for Obama, we was all supposed to go back in 2010 and vote for the Congress. Because they the ones make child support laws. They the ones choose if your kids at school get the East steak or corn dogs. The state house make the court calls. So if the country failed, then you can't say it's them, it's your fault. Because y'all ain't know to vote for Congress members that was for y'all. And they don't got to leave after four years, and we just let them sit. See, they don't want to tell you this, they want you to focus on the president mm -hmm. Now the third branch is the judicial, that's judges They the reason why John Crawford and Trayvon ain't had justice So when Meek Mill got locked up just for popping willies We blame the judge and not the city when they let her get voted in Cause they ain't know who to vote against Imagine life on the other side, roads better, schools better Everybody get their license back, grocery store food better Custody of your kids back, homeless people get new shelters If we gon' fix the U.S., we gotta start with them two letters me and you, somebody told us that the government wanna keep us broke But the only reason why those people in the government is cause we ain't vote And I ain't talking about the president, I'm talking about the ones we ain't know See they was gonna try to keep it low, but it's gonna hurt them when they see the pro That's, that's the definition of somebody who's woke It's not somebody who's gonna rap about something that doesn't matter It's somebody who, li who literally is saying, there's more to be doing in your life, but you have to educate yourself you have to get woke. You have to be willing to put in the work to be woke. And he explains it very briefly. But you could tell that he did his homework. You can tell that he has been thinking about this. You can tell that he really understands that, that the problem is so much deeper than just staring at the president. Than just hating on the president. Voting for the president. It goes deeper. But if you're not willing to put in the work, you really... You, you talk, but you don't mean anything. And that's the problem with a lot of people. It is, it is our fault. Because we hop on to songs like this or we hop on to things that, you know, we hop on the news and, and we hate on the president or we hate on this person or we do whatever we're going to do. But if you're not willing to put in the same work that he is, you're just talking. I can't stand people who just talk and they don't actually know where they stand. If you're not willing to put in the, the homework to understand these things, you're just talking. It's worthless. See, that's investment. He's invested into this, not just to make a song, not just to make, you know, just to, to, to make this video, but he's invested enough that he's saying, like, this is what we need to do. This is the game plan. This will make a difference if you start to do these things. But most people will watch this and say, yeah, amen. They'll clap their hands and they'll say, he's great, but they're not actually going to do anything. They're not going to get on their phone and check when the next time to vote is. They're not going to pay attention to what's going on in their community, and that's sad. Because that's an absolute waste. That's a waste of everything that he's saying.
Every time you stay home, someone is making a decision about you, making decisions about the air you breathe, the water you drink, the food your kids eat, and how much money you bring home every two weeks. So every time you sit out an election, every time you don't show up because you think it doesn't matter, someone else is happy that you didn't show up so they can make that decision for you. Vote. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that. I want to react to more to him, to more of him. And if you want me to react to more of him, let me know in the comments. Um, make sure that you like the video and subscribe and stay tuned because I'm putting out, I just started putting out my own music. So make sure that you go check out my song too. And I want to know what your reaction to that is. Because there's not a lot of, of reactors that rap to. And I, I just started. It's my very first song. But let me know what you think. All right. Bye, guys. I walked apart from the crowd, turned my whole life around Not how I thought it'd go down, made me look like a clown If that's your definition of found, I won't be reconciled I don't care if this is allowed, you made me hostile The church just don't show people you're broke, put on that fake smile I'm that one that won't accept their fake Christian lifestyle God, I haven't seen you lately, we haven't talked in a while